Well, and obviously you dropped him a few times. Were you surprised he was able to get back up? Did you hit him with something and think, oh, he's over and, and he was good back up? Um, he's, he comes in really good shape. When you're in shape, you can, you can get back up and he can scramble pretty good. So when I dropped him the first time in the first round, the first thing that came to my mind was what happened in the Munoz fight. Munoz rushed the finish and then he kind of like leave everything in the first round. So I just told myself, I got fucking four more rounds to break this guy, so don't get crazy. And this thing is a motherfucker, so I was like, just stay focused and you will catch him. Did you, you know, a lot's been made of his style and stuff like that. Did you find it particularly tricky or did you think, oh, I'll just, I'll chill and wait for him to come in? Um, honestly, I really, me and my team, we really think the way he fights is kind of like very low level. Like, there's no base, there's no good stance. All that move from side to side, like, I'm like, we, we told each other, we have to kick this guy's ass. But by saying that, you, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. I just believe that style is not the best style for MMA. Maybe for boxing can works better, but for MMA, you got way too many weapons going. And what he does well, he makes it take those with that movement. That's when he's successful, but I was like, it's gonna be hard for him to take me down. So we're pretty confident, but we knew this fight wasn't easy.